This is Seiko's video tech tip on how to use a DE rod. DE or direct elevation rod has been around for a long time. Linker originated this concept back in the 50s. We have two versions of it. Uh, both of them feature a 10 foot rotating band. This tape face rotates uh, a full 360 degrees and you can lock it in any position. But the tape face, if you unroll it, would be a 10 foot length. So the magic of this rod is that it works in the 10 foot uh, division. So it'd be the last three digits of your elevation. If you go past that, you have to reset because the range of this rod is typically five foot plus or minus from your starting elevation. Depends on how you set up your level. Of course, you may get a little more out of it, uh, but experience will show you how to set up your laser, the best place to put your laser or your optical level to read the rod to get your maximum range uh, differences. Uh, this model here is for optical instruments. You can tell it has a very bold tape face pattern so you can read it optically from a longer distance. This model here has a dual scale. It has a red and blue for cut and fill and it has a normal pattern here for uh, direct elevations. So they're both in tenths of a foot. Both of them you can get with or without a laser rail to put a laser detector on if you're using a laser detector model. To use the DE rod, it's, it's got three lock, two locks on it. One lock, this one here, locks your tape face. This lock here allows you to extend the rod. So the back staff section here is always on the ground uh, or your reference point. So to your control point, you set the rod on your control point. You can then, with your automatic level or your laser, set the grade to agree with your, your instrument. If you want to assume an elevation, you can move it to the X, which is zero. If you're a known elevation, say our elevation is uh, 125.20, the last three digits is 5.20 of your elevation. So you will unlock your tape face, of course put it on your hub, put it on your control again. Turn the tape face until you get to 5.2. And you turn the tape face and exactly line it up on your instrument crosshair to 5.2. Lock your tape face again. And now as you move up, say now you're reading 6.00. So your last three digits would be 6.00. So your elevation would be 1,126.00 feet. So hence direct elevation. There's no math involved. Your direct reading is your elevation of that point. So either you can mark that point or you can set a hub in the ground at the new elevation. The dual tape or dual scale model works the same way as the bold face, but the pattern is a little smaller. Slide on your DE rod bracket. On your control point, you can slide your laser detector up or down until you get the beep, beep, beep or on grade signal. Lock your detector to the rail. Slide your rod, tape face, to be zero zero, or again like the other demo, if you're doing a elevation, known elevation, you set it to the last, like we did on them, 5.20, there's five, there's 5.2. So then lock your tape face, same drill. Then as you move from point to point, simply unlock it. As your rod goes up, for example, you've got to pull your detector down, back to grade, get your grade signal, and read your rod direct. So that's your direct elevation and fill from your zero if you go up red is a cut and you can read it direct four tenths five tenths of a foot if you're going down blue is a fill and you read your direct fill the exact amount from your reference point very simple, it takes all the math out of it, that's why we call it a direct uh, elevation rod. 
You can use it to transfer elevations, measure elevations. Once you get elevations, it's very easy to subtract your two elevations to get a difference in elevation. So it's a very handy tool for elevations.